I'm about to make an ass of myself. I'm going to try to do a general tutorial on cyber faces. I don't do cyber faces. I, I, I just never have done this. This isn't my cup of tea, so I apologize in advance, but I'm going to show you at least the ins and outs, and you guys can just be better at it than I am. So, to edit a cyber face, first you need to figure out what cyber face you're editing. If you head over to the player and coach cyber ID list, let's just do Alan Iverson. He is double O or triple O five. So we go over to our 2K13 installation, PNG triple O five. So this right here is Alan Iverson's face. Now let's say I want to use Alan Iverson's face as a base because I like his dreadlocks and have it be for my own player. So my 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 blah, 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 my my player or something like that. The best way to do this is to have a unique four digit number. Now you could just go through here and say, um, you know, oh, they're, they two K skipped um, dub, or PNG zero zero five six. So I'm just gonna take fifty six and have that be my CFID. Don't do that because these are actually used by past versions of the game, and you know, it it, it just gets hairy with other mods and everything. So your best bet is to head up into like the start at 4,999, uh, the 5,000s I believe are coaches, but uh, even up here. So go into like the 6,000s or, you know, six something. So let's just take 678.9. <laughs> so this is going to be our Cyberface ID. And then, like I said, with the roster editor, you can go in and change your your player's CF ID to that. And just real quick, I'll just do that. Open up my career. And we'll go ahead and change the player type. There's me. Player type 6 is your my career player. We want to turn off the generic face. And we're going to use 678. So change the CF ID to 6789. Boom. That's it. Hit save players. And you've done it. <laughs> and if once if as long as this is in your uh, 2k13 folder that's how you apply it to your your my career but let's say we're just doing a basic update for Allen Iverson and that's one two little zeros let's get one more in there and uh, just to be safe I don't screw anything up whoops PNG triple o five and we'll make another copy just in case so always create backups never do that okay so past years we could just use the uh, 2k12 mod tool we cannot this year when we try to look at a cyberface file that's fine it is all screwed up just like the uniforms however you can get to the 3d stuff and some of the other textures so that's okay but we want full support damn it so we'll go ahead and delete this backup just in case <laughs> remember don't ever do that don't ever create delete the backup so we're going to use the 3dm mod tool and go to the desktop and open this up there's Iverson. There's his tattoos. Um, that's the green face you're gonna have to create, and I have a green tech or normal map tutorial right here in the 2K13 tutorials on the NLSC forums, video tutorials, right there. That's how you create those things. I'm not gonna do that in this video. This I believe you can keep the same. I don't know. <laughs> this is what I don't do. This is his hair, so we can change that if we want. And we got that we can change. So let's go ahead. This is export right here, this top one. And this is going to be the hair. That's not how you spell hair. <laughs> um, and we want to make note of what this is. RGBA. Okay, well, hopefully this works. And we want to edit the face, of course. Face. And we want to edit the tattoos. So export that. Now, before we go any further, there are issues with um, these textures and cyber faces for whatever reason. So if you go to the 2K13 patching help and requests, and we'll just type in black spots to find it, because this has been an issue that's come up many, many different times. And I forgot the forms are a little slow right now. So you, as you can see, like these little um, black spots show up. And let me head over to this. And you're supposed to save 
um, the arms and the face in these formats. Now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this correct or not, because like I said, I don't screw with cyber faces, but that is the information you need to fix that situation. So the first thing we need to do, um, let's just take this hair and we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll close all that. So there's the hair, we're going to right click, add layer mask, transfer the out layers, alpha mask, we're going to disable the layer mask, we're not going to edit the layer mask. Let's go ahead and grab this, and we'll just colorize it, uh, those are some beautiful dreads man, there we go, all done. <laughs> And we'll export this, and I believe oh, we gotta apply the layer mask first. Don't make that mistake again. Nice orange dreads. Export hair. Replace it. Don't always replace it, but you know what I mean. DX25. We'll generate those mip maps. And I think we're all set with that. Okay. So we close out the hair. I can go in here. Right click. This is the import button. Import the hair. Sure, continue. There it is. Awesome. Then we want to open up the face. This is the big one that everyone has a lot of, you know, the most issues with, if you will. So we need to do the layer mask thing again. And we're going to disable it. And we're going to, we'll show it. Where it's black, um, there is no, like, shine. So in the hair, you want to make sure that's black there. Uh, the white parts of this texture is where the player will sweat on their face. So, if that makes sense for you guys. So we can go ahead and not show it. We do not want to edit it. So, the first thing I should do is make all this hair orange just like the hair in this. This is for the 3D hair in his face. Um, to be honest, I don't know how the hell you're going to do this. <laughs> I really don't. So that's something for you to figure out. To do the face part, this is why I hate cyber faces so much. Go to Google, <laughs> type in Alan Iverson. Um, let's go ahead and search tools. We want the type to be f a face. Uh, you want a good face where he's looking right at the. <laughs> sure, we'll use his mugshot. Let's go ahead and grab that, throw that right onto the desktop, we'll minimize that. Open that up in GIMP or your Photoshop or whatever you're using. And what you need to do is kind of lasso out his face. Again, this is not my freaking strong point. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't do this stuff. <laughs> so copy that out, paste that right there. Oh boy kind of mess with the opacity a little bit so you can line it up right. Let's just make this bigger so we can see. Like I said, I am terrible at this crap. This is not I've never done this. I've been a part of the community for almost 10 years now. I don't do these things. So you want to really line up the face. You can rotate it a bit to get it all lined up. I mean, to be honest, I have no idea how these guys do this shit. <laughs> I really don't. Um... You really want to try to make sure it lines up as good as possible, unless you're going to do UV editing. I'll probably move it down a little bit. Sure, so we'll say this is all good. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of some of this. I mean, to be honest, I'm pretty sure that since I, you know, the facial hair we have behind us. Come on. Come on. There we go is so good. We could probably just, you know, get rid of all of it. And just keep like the nose and the lips if that's what you want to have updated. Ugh, oh, this is terrible already. <laughs> oh, this is so terrible. Okay, and we'll go ahead and just take care of some of this too. Um we're gonna want to have a finer touch with this. I'll make this a little bit bigger. Just so it blends a little bit better into the texture that's already there. 
And this is why it's good to ha always use a a face that looks similar to the face that you're trying to create. So if I'm creating myself, and let's say I look like um, Shavik Randolph or someone, you know, you want to make sure you're using that person as a base. That was terrible. There we go. Sure. Screw it. So let's get rid of this opacity shit. All the way up. Oh my god. 100. Thank you. Oh, this is so terrible. <laughs> um, so then we want to take this and we want to make sure it blends into the background, the base image, the cyber face. Make sure the skin color is all correct and everything. So I believe we do that here. And saturation levels, lightness. I mean, again, there's a reason why I don't do this stuff. Oh my God. And the game's going to take out his eyes and take care of that for you. And it really is just a matter of experimenting, I think. Try to figure out what works best. And oh, this is such a fucking train wreck. Well, let's say this is going to be it. So let's just merge this down. <laughs> I, this is why I don't do this shit. Anchor this layer. So this would end up being the worst Allen Iverson face ever. <laughs> oh my god. What have I done? Okay. Apply the layer mask. As you can see, it kind of lined up. <laughs> okay. Export this crap. Export it. Done with it. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Get, just get this out of here. Go away. <laughs> and... That's the import. Import the face. There it is. Face is imported. And remember to do that formatting crap that I don't know how to do. You're on your own. I'm sorry. And for the tattoos, the simplest part because there's no alpha layer or anything. Figure out where you want the tattoo. Uh, note that those are nipples. So this is the chest up here. So I believe he likes the NLSC. Whoa. Ah, oh, crap. What have I done? Just scale right, yo. And move that right over this dog. And right click, merge that down. Export. Overwrite that. Uh, I believe that could be DXT1. And you can always save these as as PNG files if you want to. Yep, 512.512 DXT1. There you go. Okay, generate those bitmaps. Right click, import, tats. There that. Save it. Save it. <laughs> Fucking done. If you want to do 3D stuff and you're really just out there like that, uh, this is the low res. You can see by the ears. This is the high res version. Right click here, this is export, creates an N2KM file. Um, we want to go to my temp or my file for 3D editing. Uh, tools, temp. Go ahead and copy that, paste that in here. All right, let's open up Blender. File, import, N2KM, temp. That's the one I just saved. Import this. Please don't take forever. There's Iverson's face. You can watch my hilarious uh, video on how to edit these better because I'm terrible at it. But you press. Oh, I guess I select one of them. Tab to edit. Um, let's change this to shaded. Not textured. Shaded. And then I can go ahead and press B, B. Just kind of select some. Oh, deselect all by pressing A. Press B twice to select what vertices I want to edit. If you're in this wireframe mode, you will not um, select things on the other side. Or the, if you are in wireframe, it goes everywhere. If, if you're in this mode, you don't. I can scale and rotate and 
whatever the hell else. I don't do this crap. Press tab to be done editing it. Look at that wireframe. It's so beautiful. File, export, export in 2km, temp, overwrite, because you're not supposed to do that. Uh, I forgot to wait. You got to make sure you don't move your mouse away too fast. Export, export, export. There you go. Close that. Right click here, import. And there it is. Okay. Ugh. Well, I did it right. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, bother. Whatever. It's because I moved my damn mouse and I screwed up Blender. But that's basically how you edit everything to do with a cyberface, how to apply cyberfaces to certain players, how to do it all. I hate cyberfaces. Seriously, like, this is not my thing. So, as you can tell. So, do a better job than me. That's the ins and outs and the basics of it, but it's nothing freaking good because I'm terrible at this. I do courts and arenas and jerseys. Kinda. Not even really Jersey, so whatever. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this helps. Just make sure you put the uh, saved file back into the uh, 2K13 folder. So good luck. I hope that helps something. I don't know. You guys are on your own. <laughs> See ya.